Now what I want to do is check the gyro um, reaction, or compensation, I suppose, for, you know, the unwanted movement. So, first I'll check the tail. I've got it in head and hold mode, so that uh, when I move the helicopter this way, the slider is going to go towards the boom because it wants to turn, the gyro wants to turn the helicopter to the right. So, when I do this, the slider should go into the boom. Now, when I go this direction, the slider should move away from the boom to turn the helicopter back this way. So, so if you can see that I'm going this way, the slider moves toward the boom. When I move this way, the slider is moving away from the boom. So, that's what we want. That one is right. So, now I'm going to check the... Uh, left and right axis. So I see that when I roll it to the left, or well, to the right actually, when I roll the helicopter to the right, the swash um, compensates by tilting to the right. So that would actually make it go more uh, into a row. And same thing, if I roll it to the left here, the swash also moves to the left. And that's not what we, want, what we want. It should go in the opposite direction to compensate. So, I need to go into the software and reverse the uh, gyro direction for uh, the uh, aileron servos anyway. Now let's check the, the uh, pitch. So when I tilt it up, I would expect the swash to go back, down in the back to try to let it out again. So actually what happens is the swash, the elevator's going up. Same thing, if I go down, um, the swash, the elevator goes down. So that it's going backwards. So that also needs to be reversed. Let me do that. This time, I'm going to use another program that uh, I like to um, use with my Copter X um, 3X1000, it works with the 3X2000, and it works with the um, ZYX as well. But it's done by somebody named John NZ. Um, let's see if he tells anything about it. No. Um, anyway, so let me... Let me connect. And one of the things I like about it is it's easier to, you can actually type values into these boxes. Um, you can't do that with the Copter X software. So anyway, um, I'm just going to show this to you just because I like to use it. It's very similar uh, setup screens. So if you don't have to do next, 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 we can just go right here like this. So, if you remember, I just did a check. The tail direction was okay. But we want to change, reverse the pitch. And we want to reverse the uh, cyclic, uh, the aileron direction. I just heard the helicopter jump. Uh, the servos twitch. So, the setting has been made. And that is all. Now, this <clears throat> final um, setup right here is to do its optimization, and that is where when the helicopter is like in a pirouette, um, spinning around the axis, um, the, the gyro will automatically adjust the swash plate so that um, the, the swash does not, I guess you could say, follow the rotation. It's almost like the swash stays in place at whatever angle um, it is.
while the helicopter rotates around the shaft. So um, here's where we do that. And what we do is we click check optimization. And then you rotate it around um, and you just check to make sure that the swash stays pointing just like it is. So let me do that. So I've got I'm checking optimization. And what's what it does when you check optimization, you can see that if you see that the swash is kind of pointing this way, down the elevator's down. That's what's happening. And as I rotate this helicopter 90 degrees, the swash remains pointing that way. It's no longer pointing down in the elevator, it's pointing down on that aileron there. So I rotate it back. Um, the swash is down again, the elevator is down. I rotate it this way, and the swash is pointing down here. This aileron servo is pointing down, not the elevator, not this one. So that is checking the optimization. And because the swash always remains pointing down, right here, this way, no matter which orientation I turn it, this one, this one, this one, and even this one, um, it's still pointing down. That tells me that optimization is correct, and I don't have to reverse it or anything like that.